All right, today we're gonna to be talking about how to know if your ex is over you for good. I've put together a list of 13 of the biggest signs that this is actually occurring. Now, all these signs are based on our real life findings from people who've tried to get their exes back but ultimately failed because their ex didn't want them back anymore. So without further ado, let's just jump right into it and talk about the 13 biggest signs that your ex is over you for good. Sign number one, your ex ignores you for more than 66 days. So quick bit of trivia here for you. How long do you think it takes to either make or break a habit? Well, this is actually a few years ago, one of the things that I was wondering and I went to Google, typed in, how long does it take to break a habit? And some article came up that said 21 days. But upon further researching, I found that it actually takes 66 days to break a habit or make a habit. So why is this relevant in this specific case? Well, if you're understanding or trying to learn if an ex is over you for good, Theoretically speaking, it would take them 66 days of not talking to you for them to get out of the habit of thinking about you. So if you have been in a no contact rule for longer than 66 days and your ex has not been contacting you at all or even giving you any kind of light of day, it's not a good sign. Sign number two, your ex has been with someone new for more than eight months. I recently recorded a video talking about how long you can expect the average rebound relationship to last. That video basically said it takes on average about 5.2 months before a rebound relationship will run its course. But what happens if your ex moves on to someone new and they stay with that someone new for longer than 5.2 months? Well, generally speaking, if they're with this new person for more than eight months, this is no longer considered a rebound relationship. This is considered a relationship that is very serious to them. It is kind of ventured out of the rebound territory. In other words, that means they're not really thinking too much about you anymore. They're more focused on the relationship with this new person. Sign number three, your ex has left mutual connections behind. So what is a mutual connection? Well, think of it like this. If the two of you made friends while you were together, this is a mutual connection. So one thing we're noticing with exes who have moved on and don't really want to revisit getting you back, it's that those mutual friends, they just kind of drop and move on with their lives. So one of the telling signs that they're over you for good is if you have mutual friends or mutual acquaintances or mutual things that you used to share and your ex no longer cares about them or those things and just kind of moves on with their life. That's a sign that they're moving on for good. Sign number four, your ex no longer feels the need to respond to you in a timely manner. Oh, I've been on record a lot talking about how ultimately it's not about who reaches out first, but who ends a conversation that matters more than anything else. Because I know the first thing you're going to jump to is how often they're reaching out to you first. But this is not what this whole sign is about. More than anything, this sign is talking about existing conversations. You see, with an existing conversation, there's a certain flow and dynamic that goes into the conversation. You text your ex, they text back in a timely manner. Every once in a while, they'll get busy and maybe it takes them an hour to respond, but what happens if you are talking to an ex and they don't respond to you for a couple of days? Maybe they just stop responding to you all together. They engage you initially at first, but they're doing it just to be nice. They don't want you to think poorly of them, but they're too busy with their life and they don't really have the time to dedicate to you. This is a good sign that they're not so much looking at you in a romantic way anymore. They're looking at you in the way I just explained. They don't want to be mean to you. They want to be nice. So they're engaging you a little bit and then dropping out of the conversation. A telltale sign things aren't going so well from the get your ex back perspective. Sign number five, you begin to notice your conversations lack meaning. Okay, there's a huge difference between engaging your ex in a conversation that is about something meaningful that both of you care about versus a conversation that is about the weather or what you did that day. Now, what you did that day can be an exciting thing to talk about, but it's not necessarily 
very meaningful. You're not talking about philosophy or ideas or even future plans. You're talking about surface level stuff that you can talk about with pretty much any acquaintance. If you notice that this is happening, that you, whenever you try to open up to your ex or get your ex to talk about something more meaningful and they are resistant to that idea, it's a good sign that they are not wanting to tread on paths that can potentially lead you on. So it is a sign that they may be getting over you for good. Sign number six, your ex stops interacting with you on social media. Social media is a staple of the get your ex back process that we teach. Oftentimes we explain to people this concept of the holy trinity, trying to divide your life up into health, wealth, and relationships. And posting about those things on social media so that you can quote unquote show your ex that you're living your best life. But what happens if they stop watching your Instagram stories or stop commenting on your things or stop liking your things? What happens if they don't really respond to you at all? Well, more than anything, this sign is going to only be applying to exes who were engaging with you on social media before and even after the breakup. If you and your ex never really had much of a history of talking to each other on social media or liking each other's things or commenting on each other's photos, you can probably just skip this sign. It probably does not apply to you. But what happens if after you go through the breakup, your ex all of a sudden stops? They don't unfriend you. Maybe at first, after the breakup, they're watching your Instagram stories, as an example. But slowly but surely, they stop doing that, and eventually, they don't care what you're posting. You can't get your attention. Maybe you're getting attention from every single other person other than your ex, but your ex is not giving you the light of day. This could be a sign that they are in the process of getting over you. Real quick, I wanna say that if you're new to this YouTube channel or you're trying to figure out what you should be doing to get your ex back and you're trying to learn if you even have a chance in your specific circumstance, probably the smartest thing for you to do is actually stop by our website, www.exboyfriendrecovery.com or take our ex recovery chances quiz that can be found at exboyfriendrecovery.com. Now, if you're watching this on YouTube, taking that free quiz is super easy to do. All you have to simply do is look in the description link below this YouTube video and click on the link you see there. It will take you directly to the quiz where you can fill it out and get an easy answer on what you should be doing going forward and overall what your chances look like in your specific situation. All right, so let's get you back to the video. Sign number seven, your ex stops flaunting their happiness all over the place. We all want to win the breakup. I remember my very first breakup ever and I was consumed with the idea of I am going to win this breakup. And for me, winning the breakup simply meant that I was not going to be the first person to crack and reach out to see how my ex-girlfriend was doing. She was gonna have to do that to me. Of course, on social media, I also wanted to flaunt how great I was doing without her. So I literally remember doing this. I literally remember the day after I broke up with her, going out on a date with two other girls and my friend. Right? So I'm going on a date and I'm thinking, oh, I can't wait till she hears about this. Now, that act in and of itself is super petty and super immature, if I might add, but it does indicate that I still very much cared about what she thought. The opposite is true if your ex is getting over you. They won't flaunt happiness in front of your face. They won't care about what you're doing. Remember, the opposite of love isn't hate, it's indifference. Sign number eight, your ex blocks you and hasn't unblocked you after six months. It sucks to be blocked by an ex. It really does. In fact, it happens quite often. We used to freak out personally when we first started Ex-Boyfriend Recovery trying to understand what do we do to, to make an ex unblock you? We realized the answer is actually doing nothing literally not overreacting or not even underreacting. Just by simply being, more often than not, an ex will unblock you. Don't believe me? I've written an entire article, filmed an entire series of videos about being blocked by an ex and our findings from real life people in our private Facebook support group. But what about those rare circumstances where you're in a hard block? That means you've been blocked in every single place imaginable. You have no way of contacting your ex 
short of actually writing them a letter and sending them a letter to their house. And what if they haven't unblocked you after six months? Well, after six months, if an ex has not unblocked you, it is a good sign that they are probably not going to unblock you. Now, it may happen in a split moment when they get curious to see what you're up to, but they'll quickly block you again. Now, the important thing here is the timeline. Don't freak out if you're blocked after a month or even two months. What we're looking for here is anything longer than six months that's excessive and it's indicative of an ex who is trying to get over you. Sign number nine, your ex's words and actions align. I've been on record a lot saying that what matters to me isn't so much what your ex says, but rather what they do. In other words, what we're looking for is if they say something and their actions actually back up what they're saying, that probably means they really meant what they said. Now, on the flip side, if your ex says something like, I never loved you at all, and then comes back together with you, they really didn't mean that original thing. Here's what you're looking for. Pay attention to what your ex says. If they say, I am never talking to you again, and they talk to you again, they really don't align. That means what they said originally didn't hold a lot of weight. But on the flip side, an ex who is trying to get over you or who does not want you back, they will say something and their actions will back up exactly what they say. Pay attention to that. Sign number 10, your ex broke up with you and then they moved away. Now, I don't want you to confuse this with long distance relationships because that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about a situation where you and your ex maybe even lived together or you were close by to each other, you were not in a long distance relationship and your ex breaks up with you and then a few weeks to a month later, they move away somewhere completely different. For whatever reason, this is not a good sign. Now, I will not say that it's impossible to get this ex back. I have seen circumstances where you can get exes back like this, but it is highly improbable. Literally, your ex breaks up with you and runs away from you. Not a good sign and also a sign that they're just trying to move on with their life. Sign number 11, you and your ex were not together for very long. Not all situations are created equally, right? So if you are in a situation where you dated your ex for one week, you are not going to have the emotional resonance that someone your ex dated for 12 years will have. There's a certain amount of history that gets involved when you date someone that long. So ultimately, your ex is going to have a lot easier time of getting over you if you have not dated them for very long. So this begs the interesting question. What's the cutoff period when it becomes like a short relationship versus a long relationship? Well, if you dated your ex for no more than three months, you are not going to have the emotional resonance that someone who dated your ex for six months would have. So this is what I would try to grade it on. Three months and below means you haven't dated your ex for very long and it's a lot easier for them to try to get over you. Six months and above, this is where it becomes very hard to get over someone. Three months to six months is kind of in no man's land. So use that as your general guide. Sign number 12, your ex has a history of jumping from relationship to relationship. Rebounds, rebounds are always kind of a fun topic to talk about because you either really want your ex to have a rebound or you really don't want to be your ex's rebound. So here's the ultimate thing that I would say. If your ex has a history of jumping from relationship to relationship, Ultimately, that's the same as admitting your ex has a history of jumping from rebound to rebound to rebound to rebound. You do not want to be your ex's rebound. This is almost always a very bad sign because that means they never truly open themselves up fully in the relationship. They probably open themselves up a little bit, but not fully. So it's a lot easier for someone like this to get over you as opposed to someone who dated you for a long time and you're not their ex's rebound. Get what I mean? Now, these are only some of the gigantic signs that your ex is over you for good. There are actually many more, and in some cases, these signs are not all non-negotiable. For example, you can have, or your ex can exhibit one of these signs, but you can still technically get them back in certain circumstances, assuming the right conditions are met. 
Now, what are the right conditions? Well, probably the best place for you to start to figure out how to create the right conditions to make an ex want to come back with you is actually to stop by our website and take our ex recovery chances quiz. So you can kind of get a starting point to see what your overall chances are of getting your ex back is our you get what I'm saying. Now, if you're interested in taking this quiz, all you gotta do is simply look in the description link below this YouTube video and click the link you see there. It will take two minutes to complete. It's completely free and will give you some personalized advice on how you should approach your situation going forward. That's it. I'll see you guys next time.